People with disabilities in New York are dying from COVID-19 at a much higher rate than the general population. That's according to the New York Times. But in Texas, the state tells us it will not be releasing the number of cases in its facilities for people with disabilities. That's despite concerns we've been hearing that the virus is spread within the Austin State Supported Learning Center. KXA investigator Kevin Clark tells us why advocates say outbreaks at these state-run centers can be devastating. 13 state-run facilities house close to 3,000 people with disabilities. Social distancing is a challenge by nature in these buildings where some of the most vulnerable Texans live. Some, depending on their level of functioning, their level of, of intellectual disability, does, do not have the capacity to know to wash their hands or to use sanitizers. Or KXAN has heard from at least a dozen people about COVID-19 cases within the Austin location. That includes Beth Mitchell of Disability Rights Texas. I have heard that there that there have that there are some positive tests at the Austin location. Texas Health and Human Services has declined to release the positive case numbers at its own facilities. A spokesperson told us Thursday that is personal information related to patient privacy and against the law to release. According to the New York Times, around New York City, perhaps the hardest hit area, those with developmental disabilities are getting COVID-19 at a rate five times greater than the general population and dying from it at a rate near that. Mitchell says here in Texas, families are having a hard time communicating with their loved ones in state centers and that HHSC should release the number of positive cases. Because they're so closed off and nobody can get in and out in terms of visitors or anything else and to stop any kind of rumors about who does or doesn't, it would be very helpful to post those numbers. Mitchell says some staff are concerned about the unknown and aren't reporting for work. According to HHSC budget records, its centers have faced budget constraints, staffing shortages, and a high turnover rate for years. Kevin Clark, KXAN News. As health departments around the state have confirmed COVID-19 cases at state-supported living centers in Denton, Richmond, and Mahia. KXAN's investigative team has also been looking into COVID-19 complaints at nursing homes in our area. We've gotten so many that we've created an entire page. It's included under the investigations tab at KXAN.com.